Hello everybody! It's Friday! Time for Facebook Friday. We haven't had Facebook Friday in a long time. It's been like, I don't know, three weeks maybe? I am ready to get back to it. I know you guys are too. Um, let's see if I can find you, make sure I'm in the right place. Suddenly I was worried I was in the wrong place. All right, good. I see you guys jumping on. Hello, everybody. All right. I hope you guys are having a great start to your new year. <laughs> I had high hopes for 2021. Oh, goodness. Um, it's going to be a good year, right? It's going to be good. Um, we have a brand new catalog and we actually have two brand new catalogs. This is the mini catalog. I call it the spring mini, um, but it's not spring everywhere in the world. So it's actually called the January to June mini catalog. Gorgeous things. And I have to say, this is probably my favorite catalog ever. I love everything in here. It is an awesome catalog. Hi guys, it's so good to see you. Um, so then the other part, the other new thing is the celebration. Celebration catalog. Um, this is celebration, which is the best time of the year for stamping up. Um, during celebration, for every $50 you spend, you get something for free. You can either get a level one free item that's free with a $50 purchase, or you could get a level two item, which is free with a $100 purchase. Um, and it's cumulative. So if you spent $150, you could either get three level ones or a level one and a level two whatever, it's cumulative. So there are, I believe, 10 different products in here you can choose from. Gorgeous designer series paper, um, four packs, yeah, four different packs of designer series paper, absolutely gorgeous, um, and some great stamp sets. So make sure that you have checked this out. I am hearing rumors that the website, the store, when you go to check out, doesn't make you choose celebration items. So you could potentially check out without your celebration items. So you guys make sure you stay focused when you submit those orders because there's a little bar at the top that you click that will let you choose your free items, okay? So don't submit your order without picking your free things. Ugh. Now, here's one thing I need to tell you about um, celebration this year. Usually celebration is January, February, and March. Not this year. This year it is just January and February. Okay, so two months only. Now we're gonna have a celebration part two in the summer, um, but that is gonna be different stuff. It's not the same stuff. So you've got to remember that celebration this year ends on February 28th, okay? Um, I'm worried that that's gonna sneak up on some of you and it's gonna end before you get the things that you want. So make sure that you know that, okay? Okay, I think I'm gonna flip you guys around um, and show you what I've got down here. I've got quite a few things to tell you and today's projects are kind of, um, they kind of take a long time. So let me flip you around, let me clear off my space. I hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas. I can't believe I haven't talked to you since Christmas began. That's crazy. I mean, yeah, since Christmas. It was Um, close your eyes, guys. I'm just going to do a little flippity flip here. There's lots of new things, lots of changes um, here at here in the Stamping Up world. And I'm going to go through all of them for you, okay? All right, the first thing, I'm missing a stamp set. Where did it go? It slid off with my iPad. The first thing I wanted to tell you about, we just talked about Celebration, right? Which is this little catalog right here. And you get free items, one, either a level one or a level two item with your purchases, 50 and $100 up. The second part that goes along with this is the starter kit special. Now the starter kit is always $99. It's anything that you want. Um, it can be from the spring catalog, from the annual catalog. It could even be things from the clearance rack. You pick out $125 in product and it's $99. Um, free shipping also. Now, in, during celebration, they always add something to it. So this year, they have added five packs of designer series paper. And these packs are the color family packs. And if you've been around here for a while, you know I love color family packs. Um, these have four sheets 
per every, you know, per every Stampin' Up! color. Um, so we have the brights, that's what we're looking at right now, the brights. We have subtles, neutrals, regals, and then the current in colors. Um, so there's four sheets of each one. The in colors have eight, eight sheets per color, I believe. Um, but you can see these are new patterns. These are different from what are in the catalog right now. These will be in the next annual catalog. So it's a little bit like a sneak peek. So you get five packs of this paper for free along with your whatever else you choose. Um, so here they are. I just wanted to show you because I feel like our graphic doesn't do it justice. It's a lot of paper, a lot of really good paper. You know, that's Stampin' Up! The thing that Stampin' Up! is really known for is the color coordination. So, you know, Mango Melody, you could get a marker in Mango Melody, you could get cardstock, you can get um, an ink pad, you can get ribbon, you can get paper. It's all going to match. So these are great for when you need a little bit of paper to match a certain color. Um, and then you can pull it in. Oh, I should have pulled out that card. I made a card with this paper. I don't know where it is. Anyway, it coordinates, it's easy to use, and if you know me, I use a ton of it. So there's that. The other amazing part of buying the starter kit is that then you are on my team, the Sweet Stampede, and they always get my PDFs for free. They get my class kits at a discount. They get, uh, we have monthly meetings, we have prizes, we have challenges, we have swaps, we have our own special Facebook group. So if you are interested in the starter kit, there is information today. Uh, is there, did I update today's blog post? There is information on today's PDF, which is lost right here. Second page right here. Okay. You can click that link and it'll take you over to my starter kit page so that you can read all the details. All right. All right. So there's that. That is the, that's the deal to be had. And then after you buy your starter kit, you get 20% off all your purchases. And you can still earn free celebration items. When you're a demonstrator, you still get all the specials. You get the celebration, you get the host rewards, all of that. Okay, let's look at this since I have it right here. This is the current, no, no, this is December's paper pumpkin kit. The little, what's it called? Berry Comforting. It's cute. I did it last night. It's a really simple um, box. It has three different cards. And... These would be great for kids. I think this is a great paper pumpkin. If you have kids that like to do paper pumpkin, this is a great one. All you're doing is stamping the sentiments, but the stamp set has images. Like if you want to make more of the bear, you can. Um, the envelopes are lined. It has everything that you need, including the spot, the little spot, Rich Razzleberry this month. And the reason I'm showing you this is because I have several extras. I think I have five extra kits. If you would like one of my current month's paper pumpkin, they are $25. That includes the shipping to you. Okay. So just email me or shoot me a message. Don't comment here on Facebook live because I won't see it. Um, send me a, an email or a message, Facebook message. Okay. All right. Now with that, I want to tell you about the January kit. The January kit's always really popular because it's Valentine's. And this year, here it is, Sending Hearts Paper Pumpkin Kit. And you have two more days to subscribe. You have to descri sub <laughs> describe, subscribe. You have to subscribe by January 10th if you want this kit. And I printed out the details. This kit has eight cards, okay? It's gonna have eight cards for each of two designs. Then they have this add-on that you can do that will coordinate, and it's going to have a bunch of boxes, 20 printed mini boxes. They look like little mini um, paper pumpkin boxes. They're real cute. So if you like to make treats, then you can add that on. Now you, you can't, you don't add it onto your paper pumpkin box, you actually add it on to a regular Stampin' Up! order, and hello, celebration, you can earn celebration items along with that. That's one of the things that you could add to your cart. So I believe that that does not go on sale till, da, 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 da. only available as plus, starting January 1st. Wait, what? Did I copy the wrong one? I don't know. What does it say over here? Available January 1st. So it's available now. While supplies starting on January 1st. I was thinking it said, until January 1st. No. Okay. So these are on sale. You guys, have you seen them in the store? I haven't. I haven't looked. 
they're already on sale ahead of time. So if you're getting this pipe paper pumpkin, go ahead and order that so you'll have it when it comes and you can make your cute little boxes. So cute. I have ordered extras of those. I love Valentine paper pumpkins. It's one of my favorites. Okay, next up, the all-star tutorial bundle. We have begun a new round of all-star tutorial bundle. This is um, me and 11 other demonstrators. We team up every month. We pick a suite from the catalog and we all do a tutorial. We all design a project and a tutorial in their video tutorials. This month I made a great big gift bag. It's really cool using that gorgeous paper. You guys, this fine art floral paper looks like a real painting like it looks like you could touch it and feel the texture it's so pretty so here's my project it's a sneak peek I'm not supposed to show it to you Shh, don't tell um but anyways we had a blog hop um yesterday day, day before yesterday and you can hop back one post on my blog pinkbucker.com and you'll find it but the pdf looks like this you get this pdf for free if you shop with me if you spend fifty dollars online um with me during the month of january you'll get this now, if you don't shop with me or you are a demonstrator, you can subscribe and get it delivered to your inbox on the first of every month. Um, the subscription period is only open during January. And when you subscribe, you pay for five months and you get the sixth month for free. You can either pay it all up front or you can do it monthly. Um, but that subscription option is only good until January 31st, right? There's 31 days in January. Um, but anyway, I'll just flip through here so you can see just how gorgeous these things are. Um, I'm always just blown away. I keep every, I've kept every PDF for all the years that we've done this because the projects are so, so, so good. All right. So if you're interested in that, let me know. Actually, no, don't let me know. Click here, right here, and it'll take you to the option, subscription option. You do it all. It's all automatic. Um, now, here's the thing. If you already subscribed and you didn't get it in your inbox, you need to let me know. Um, some emails are still bouncing back to me. Um, and there were a couple when I sent out this month's subscription. So I just have to wait for you to email me. Um, let's see what else. I've, already, I've also sent them out if you placed an order. I sent them out yesterday afternoon. If you placed an order anytime between the first and yesterday, I emailed it to you for free if you spent $50 with me. The other thing about the All-Star is that this is another one my team gets for free. All of the um, girls and boys, men and women, who have bought the starter kit from me get this, this uh, tutorial bundle for free every month. It's a good perk. I'm not even looking at your comments because I have so much to tell you. I hope I didn't miss anything. Um, oh, Carla says the two little boxes fit the Reese's peanut butter hearts perfectly. So Carla, you already have the boxes, the January paper pumpkin boxes. I haven't even seen them in the store. I've been so busy. So, so, so busy. Yes. And you saw the boxes in the back counter, my back counter. Yeah. I'm getting out a huge, um, kit to my team next week that has each one has 16 make and takes in it it's a lot and that's part of that uh, kit so yes I'm a little like ah but anyhow all right class to go this month is the valentine class um lots of hearts is the, the we have several stamp sets that could be used for valentines this year but this is the one I used lots of hearts um this is the bundle the class has six projects all 3D, all treat holders. So if you like to give out Valentine treats, that's this is the class for you. Um, you can get it with the bundle, without the bundle. Uh, it comes with the resin hearts and a bolt of ribbon. If you buy the option that has the bundle, you get the ribbon or the hearts for free. I can't remember. One of them is free. I subtract the cost from the price. And the um, they all ship priority, flat rate mail. Let's see what else I need to tell you. There's a PDF only option that is already available in my PDF store. There's a link at the top of my blog, PDF store. Click that. You'll find it. Scroll down. It's all alphabetic. Um, if you buy option one, which includes the bundle, you also get a celebration item with your kit. Deadline is January 18th. I'll have them in the mail by January 25th. Okay. All right. There's a video. 
If you'd like to watch more about this in detail, you can go find it. It's on YouTube, it's on Facebook, it's on my blog, it's everywhere. All right, how about some prizes? Prizes, prizes. Ooh, and then I need to remind you about the mini um, cut and emboss machine, which I will do in a minute. So it hasn't been Facebook Friday for like forever, right? Three weeks, I think. So I had to go back and remember <laughs> remember what I was giving away. And I found it. The Zoo Globe was the stamp that I said I would give away to two people who shared the video. So Sharon Kramer and Sue Ray, congratulations. You are the winners. Sharon, I have your mailing address. And Sue, I'm not sure. So message me and I will get these out to you. Thank you so much for sharing my video. I do greatly appreciate that. And this week, I have two brand new stamp sets from the new mini catalog. Handmade for You is a really cute stamp set. Um, my downline, Antoinette, made an, an adorable card with this. I am going to case it soon. It's very, very pretty. But this also has the at Stamping Up, uh, the copyright Stamping Up image um, that we are supposed to stamp on the back of our cards. If you sell your cards, you need to stamp that on the back of it so people know where the images came from. So a lot of times, especially demonstrators, are looking for stamp sets that have that. So if you haven't noticed, this Handmade For You has that. Anyhow, if you would like to win, um, all you have to do is share the video and I will pick two people at random next week. All right, you guys, the little mini it's here. It's finally here. Have any of you ordered it yet? It's so adorable. I will tell you, I haven't used it. Um, I haven't used it at all in the last couple of weeks. And I went to pull it out and I couldn't find the plates. They had fallen back behind the table. I was in a panic. But anyhow, let's see if I can show you comparatively. I'm sure you guys have seen it already, but I'm going to show you again because now you can order it and you'll get a celebration item when you order it because it is $60. Here's the big boy, the big guy, cut and emboss machine. And then here's the little baby, the mini cut and emboss machine. Um, it's really light and portable. So if you craft on the go, if you, you know, go places to stamp with friends or whatever, it's great for that. It's also great when, if you only have a small space to do your crafting. It's really great for kids as well because it's easy and lightweight and it doesn't take a lot of muscle to put those dies through. Um, I want you to notice, someone asked me the other day what the measurements of the plate were, and I measured, now I can't remember, seven by three and a half, okay? So I'm going to point out again, I've showed you guys this before, but in our catalog, the dies that fit in the mini cut and emboss machine will have this little icon, let's see if I can zoom in right here, see this little icon right here? That tells you that all of those dies will fit in the mini. So all of these have it. If you look over here, the handsomely suited uh, dies, suit and tie dies would not fit because they don't have that. So that's how you can tell what will fit in your mini cut and emboss machine. Um, it's really cute. It's really handy. We have some embossing folders too that fit in here. Um, they are also marked with that same little icon. So if you're curious about that, look and see. Um, pretty much, I would say majority of our dies do fit in here. It's just really, really cute. All right, so there's that. It is now available. I love it. Okay, we my table is almost cleaned off. Let me just tell you about today, if you've never joined me for Facebook Friday. Welcome, I'm glad you're here. Usually, I pick um, one bundle or stamp set and do three projects. But at the beginning of every catalog, I like to do kind of like a kickoff, like, oh, here's a new catalog, let's look at some of my favorite things. So that's what we're gonna do today. I've got three projects using three different stamp sets. Um, if you would like these make and takes for free, all you have to do is put in an order between now and Monday at midnight. Um, and it has to, it only has to be $35 to get the pro the projects for free. However, if you want a free celebration item, bump that order up to 50 bucks and then you'll get a free celebration item. And then I will send you the make and takes and they look like this. These are past make and take kits. All right. You need the stamps. You need the ink. You need the adhesive and you need, if it has, so like the strawberry, set has a punch you'll need that punch obviously and you'll need the cactus dies usually you don't need that much stuff for the make and takes um you just need that one bundle but like i said today we're kind of kicking things off with several 
products, but everything else will be done for you um, in those projects. Um, the embossing, you know what, that's, I don't do embossing folders either. So you'll need an embossing folder to do the embossing, but I will show you that in a sec. Okay, so free make and takes by Monday at midnight. I send them out, I cut them Tuesday morning, first thing Tuesday morning and ship them out on Wednesday. All right? All right. I say all right a lot. Today when I was recording videos, I realized I was saying that over and over. Okay, okay, all right, all right. I don't know why, <laughs> why I say it over and over again. But I do. Okay? Okay. See, I say it. Okay, now, <laughs> I can't not say it. We're going to start stamping, you guys. This first project is, oh, I am obsessed with this cactus stamp set and die, the whole product medley. I am seriously obsessed with it. Have you guys seen it in the catalog? I don't know. You might have flipped past it because, let me show you. Page... Three, five, no, no, page nine, right at the beginning, this whole product medley. We've had product medleys in the past, and they're awesome. I actually have one right here to show you. This is how it comes. It comes in this lovely box. Let me open it. And it is basically like your one-stop shop for all the things you need to make projects um, with this, you know, stamp set. It's $70, so that means you'll also get a free celebration item. So when it comes, it looks like this. You have the dies and the stamp set, then you have paper, you have felt embellishments, and you have some linen thread twine um, to go with it. Now I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna open this one because I have one open over here already. Let me move this and show you the paper. Now, somebody asked me if I was gonna do a class with this. Yes, in March, right, in March. So um, stay tuned for that. But this is the paper. It's beautiful. Calypso Coral, Pear Pizzazz, Mossy Meadow, Highland Heather is the color theme. See, whoops, flying paper. So all of that, but then I wanna show you this paper. This piece right here is really cool because the dyes, they, Yes, they cut out the stamped images, but the dies also cut out these right here. So if you wanna make something really quick, you don't even have to stamp. You can just cut those out. I mean, maybe you just stamp the sentiment, but you know, you wouldn't even need to stamp them. Now, I, I can't remember, what are there, eight, six sheets? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six sheets of each pattern. Now I am gonna show you how to stamp the cactus, okay? Doesn't that look like I cut it out of here? It does, right? I did not, you guys. I actually stamped them, and I'm gonna show you something else, okay? I had a little boo-boo with this card. <laughs> had a little boo-boo. Oh wait, before I put this away, let me just show you the little flowers. Actually, right here, see these little flowers they pop out? And they go right there on your, whoops, on your cactus. Or you can cut these out or you can stamp them. Lots of possibilities. Now, I had a big oops moment with this card. I made this one when I, no, no. I made this one when I wasn't planning on doing anything with it. I just made it for fun. And then I decided I wanted to make it for Facebook Friday. So I thought, okay, in all honesty, you guys, to cut these frames for as many of you that are going to place orders is a pain. It's the, the <laughs> rectangle stitch dies are a pain. Um, so I thought, okay, how can I simplify this for myself for cutting and sending these out? And the, so I pulled out another die. Do you guys recognize this die? This was a die that went with an embossing folder. Remember there was an oval and there was a rectangle. I can't remember the names. I was like, oh, I'll use that. That's easy. And so I made this card. So then yesterday when I went to type up the supply list, Guess what? This die is long since retired. I have no idea why I still have it and why I think it's current, but oops. So we're gonna make a frame <laughs> using the stitch rectangles. And I made this one in my clean recording today, um, but I think this time we're gonna make a fatter frame like this. So I will have to, to cut all of those little frames for you guys that order. I was trying to simplify it, but oh well, it is what it is. 
All right, so we've got that, we've got that. I'm also gonna show you the new blending brushes right here. Awesome, I showed you guys these on my last Facebook Friday. See that, it's just so soft. I wanna pet it, <laughs> it's weird, but it feels so nice. They're little tiny um, bristles. They're, it looks like foam when I show it to you, like a foam sponge, but it's not. They're just like thousands and thousands of little bristles. So we're gonna use that too. Okay, let's get started. I think we'll stamp first. Let me pull everything out. Oh, the other thing I'm using, you guys, is some of the paper. So there are four paper packs in the Celebration Catalog. This one's called Oh So Ombre. There's another one called Berry Blessings, which we'll use on the third project. Then there's two others. And they did a poll on, I think it was the Demonstrator uh, Facebook page, which paper was everybody's favorite. And out of the four, this one was winning by like a ton. And I was really surprised by that. Um, I like it, but I there's it's not my absolute favorite of the four. I, I was just found that interesting. I don't know, but maybe I'm missing something. Um, and and as I've been playing with it, I'm like, okay, maybe I maybe this is really awesome. It has four different colors. Some are little polka dots, right? And then some are what we're gonna use, like this ombre, this almost looks like a sunset. My favorite paper in the Celebration catalog is the Field and Flowers Designer Series paper. Have you guys seen that? I love that paper. So anyway, if you buy that product medley, you can get this for free. This is one of the things you can get for free. And I would recommend getting it. I would recommend getting, well, I don't know, I love all of it, all the paper. Um, I wanted to show you this too. We're not making these, but here are the calendars kind of made in the same form. Um, see how um, on this card I use the uh, darker, the purple paper, and over here we're going to use the Rococo Rose paper today. All right, and so I use clips of coral flowers on that, and we'll use Highland Heather flowers on this one. But see, I did a little calendar. We're going to make a calendar next. Not this calendar, but we're going to make another calendar. All right, all right, all right. Where is everything? All of my stuff is here. Oh, and my design, my paper has a little smudge on it. Oh, well. Why do I have, okay. I'm thinking, why do I have all this white? This goes inside, don't step on that. Now these, these um, cactus, if you look on the designer series paper, they have more than one color, right? It has some dimension. And usually the way that you do that is the rock and roll technique, which you take your stamp pad or your uh, stamp and you stamp it in your ink and then you take it on the next color and you just kind of roll it around like that so you get the dark color on the images. When I did that with this, I didn't like it. It was too, mm, like it was a hard line. So I decided instead of doing that, I was gonna fill one of my uninked spots with Mossy Meadow and try using that and it worked brilliantly. I had, I had better control of where I could put the color. So that's what this is. You can buy the spots uninked and then you just take your ink refill and you fill it in with whatever color you want. Um, I, I don't use these very often, I forget about them, but it popped in my mind when I wanted to do this. So that's what that is, okay? Let's see, I oh, I'm not seeing comments. Nothing was scrolling. Whew. So Lois, you say field flowers was my least favorite. And oh, at first, and now you love it. Isn't that funny how our brains can see things differently? Somebody can think one thing is amazing and somebody else can think something else is better. I don't know, it's just amazing to me. Okay, so pear pizzazz. Now I'm gonna take my little mossy meadow ink spot. I'm just going to kind of go around these edges like this, kind of doo -doo -doo, like that. You have to make that noise when you do it too. Doo -doo -doo. All right, now I can already tell where did my, I need my foam sheet for this and I don't have it. So I have it here just a minute ago. I can tell this isn't stamping. Right. Hold on. Hold on, please. Let me find my foam sheet. Because I, this countertop, you guys, I've told you this before. Well, darn it, I don't know where it went. This countertop doesn't give, so my photopolymer stamps don't stamp well. So we're gonna do that again. Hold on, I'm gonna take it out of my stamp rods. We'll use that one. When you have a, oh, here it is, right here, underneath my stamp rods. When you have a photopolymer stamp that is big like this, solid, 
sometimes in the middle it won't stamp. You get kind of like a bubble there. And it has to do with the table underneath, really. I Because this over on my counter where I work normally stamps beautifully over there. But on this table, for some reason, it doesn't stamp well. So if you have that problem, get just a piece of like fun foam or piercing mat and put it underneath. And look at that. Huge difference, right? Huge difference. Okay, so let's do this one. I said okay again. Okay, all right, okay. There we go. And we'll stamp that one right there. So pretty. So if you guys don't know, I live in South Texas where we have a lot of cactus and I love them. It's just, I don't know, it's home to me. And so I love them. They are beautiful. And we have this giant cactus here in my neighborhood that blooms in the spring. And it's just gorgeous. You know, we're different than Arizona. Arizona is more, they don't have a lot of grass. I don't know. Here we still have grass and a lot of greenery. But we do have a lot of cactus as well. Prickly pear. All right, let's put this here. This one. And I'm gonna take this one. I don't know the names of these cactus. This looks like a prickly pear to me right here. But I don't know what that one is called. Does anybody know what that big cactus, the name of that one would be? I need to know. These are things I need to know. I never know the name of plants when I stamp them. I need to make sure I do the research ahead of time so I can tell you this is a blah, blah, blah. But I don't know. So pretty. All right, so now, I said it again. Now I'm gonna, uh, can't stop saying it. Here is Mossy Meadow. This time we're gonna stamp, or cut this cactus right here. Um, it's gonna emboss for you, so we don't need to stamp. This tall, skinny cactus, what's this one called? I don't know, oh, Cindy Heart Cactus, is it really what it's called? It looks like a heart. All right, now let's see where my take your pick tool is. How come I'm already, I'm only on project one and I already have a giant mess. That's not good. Did you guys get stamps for Christmas? Did Santa bring you stamping up stuff? I know some of you did. All right, that's fun, that is fun. All right, we got that. Now we need to cut our frame. These were the two that I used to make the skinny um, frame. And in case you're wondering what all this junk is on my frames, my dies, I have multiple sets of dies <laughs> and I will tape them together when I'm cutting a bunch and it's easier to just pick them up. So I know that looks super weird. And the, if I was going to cut a bunch of these two, I would tape, put, you can put painter's tape and it'll keep them together as you cut. So that's why that looks gunky like that. But anyway, I think I have the other die so we can make a fatter frame. Oh yeah, these two were pretty similar to that. It's a little bit skinnier, that one. We're gonna try that. We're gonna try making a fat frame, a fatter frame. Um, <laughs> Patty says the long cactus looks like a pickle. It does look like a pickle, Patty. But it has it has spikes on it. It has spikes. I don't I don't think we'd want to eat it. I can't tell if that is straight. It looks pretty straight to me. Okay, without sticking my head in the camera. Let's see. I'm gonna have to go um, and read what you guys said. The three bubbly cactus remind me of like a hidden Mickey. Yes, uh huh, Trisha. I know. I I have had that thought too. A hidden Mickey. If you are a Disney person, yeah. You know what hidden Mickeys are. All right, let's see. How did we do? We've got this one that we can save for later. And did we cut all the way through? We did. Barely made it on that paper. It was small. All right, so that's a little bit skinnier frame. We'll see how it looks. Did I cut everything out I needed to cut out? I think I did. But we do need to bring the big guy over because we're going to emboss. I did a clean recording of this, so if you guys want to come back and make this, um, there will be a clean recording. There is a clean recording link. Actually, it's uploading right now. It'll be on my blog in a little while. 
so you can go back and watch without all the silly chit chat. And I think my my dogs only barked three times today while I was making videos. <laughs> now I have a boo boo on this paper. I'm hoping we can cut we can cover it up. I don't know what that is, but it's something. This is a tasteful textile embossing folder, and I'm going to put my paper face up. And these embossing folders have a little line here, so you can line up your paper right there, make sure it's straight. And we need to take off, we've taken off plate two, so we have plate one. We're gonna put that flat down. And then we need, because this is one of our thicker, our 3D embossing folders, we're gonna do number four. All right. <laughs> Tina, where's the fun in a clean recording? You'd be surprised. There are people who do not want my ridiculous jokes and, you know, all that. There are people who say, shut up and just stamp and show me what I need to make. And that's fine. That's totally fine. The rest of us want silly jokes. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Okay. Let me get my card base. Mossy Meadow. I love this dark green. Mossy Meadow is not typically a color I use a lot. Um, I use it at Christmas some, but I found that it looks beautiful with these two colors, this Rococo Rose. And, oh, we are going to do something to this. Let me get my grid paper. I wanted to add a little bit of texture to this frame. So there's a weird stamp. You guys, I need to stop and clean up. Hold on, I don't know what's happening. It's, it's like a giant mess and it, I don't know how we got here so fast. Okay, let me move this over here, there, now, okay. There's a weird stamp in here, this little, like right here. I'm assuming those are shadows that you stamp under your cactus, like a ground line. You know, you don't want your cactus floating around in space. So you gotta put a line under it. Um, so I'm going to use that, those two, just to add some little texture here to our frame. And I'm going to stamp them. This is a crumb cake frame. And I'm just going to kind of do them randomly across this frame. Okay. The dogs have entered the room. They are here. I don't know. They were sound asleep. Pepper is scratching my leg. <laughs> you know what she does? Stop, Pepper. She, um will stomp on my foot with her paw. She'll like, hello, lady, play with me. And right now she's scratching me on the back, on my back of my legs. She's, she's very demanding that when Pepper stop, I'm gonna rip my sweater. All right, now back to the blending brush. You gotta pet it, so soft. <laughs> I am gonna order enough. Pepper, what? Okay, okay, hello, hello, hello. Okay, mommy's working, mommy's working. I'm gonna order blending brushes for each main color. So one for browns, one for reds, one for blues, because I'm finding that the ink will dry pretty well and I can just interchange them within, you know, the same kind of color. Now, when I set this down, I don't set it down on the paper because it will leave a hard edge. And you'll see in our next project, that's really important on this one it probably see right there i just did that on here it probably doesn't really matter so much because we're kind of making this grungy anyway all right now cindy potty time no they have a doggy door so they can take care of that on their own i had when i started working at home I, we had to install a doggy door because <laughs> it's all i was doing all day letting them in and out and in and out and in and out not because they needed to go, because they just wanted to go outside and say hello to the neighbor dog and bark at the wind, you know, as dogs do. Okay, so now my foam adhesive sheet. We're going to cut some strips. And let's see, it's too long. So let's just do this. Right there. Um, Michelle, it does look like a, a makeup brush. I think they're, they're pretty similar. I think makeup blending brushes are pretty similar. I don't use a blending brush, um, with my makeup because I just don't care enough. <laughs> I am in the school of get it done in two minutes, but I've seen them and I know what you're talking about. 
All right, so there, we've got some adhesive there. Let's see if we can color, cover up our boo-boo. Oh, that's so pretty. Like that. Oh, my fingers look terrible. I'm not sure what's happening. Winter, do, do y'all's fingers like crack in the winter? Ugh, I hate it. It's not even that cold here, but it's, it's a little bit drier. Sorry for that. Now, we're going to, let's stamp our sentiment before we start. Oh! Darn it. I bet you guys were yelling, Erica, you forgot the flowers. Okay, so what we're not going to, we're going to not do the flowers. Here are the flowers right here. I was going to stamp them. But since we've already done all that, I'm just going to grab the felt for this one. We'll just do the felt because y'all don't want to see me stand there and do that for another five minutes. All right, so we'll just bring that over. But I do need to stamp the sentiment and I need to clean it because... It has clips of coral. And when I cleaned off my space just a second ago, I did something with, here it is, the chamois. Let's clean it. And Highland Heather. Life can get kind of prickly. I love that, isn't that cute? Life can get kind of prickly. It sure can. Hashtag 2020, hashtag 2021. <laughs> oh. That's a fun sentiment, isn't it? And there's some other really cute ones too on there. Happy looks good on you. I'm always here for you. Really good sentiments. Now we're gonna take that end of that and we're gonna just boop like that. And now we can start layering up. Hello, Karen from Arizona. I was just talking about Arizona and the cactus in Arizona. We have cactus in Texas too, but Arizona, if you ever go to Phoenix, they have those gorgeous giant cactus. What are they? Saguaro cactus. Oh, so gorgeous. When I was a teacher, we had a desert unit that we taught in the spring, and I loved teaching about the desert and those cactus and all the funky plants that grow in the desert. Y'all have heard me talk about Arizona, how much I love Arizona. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of fit these in. It's a little bit different because our frame is is skinnier. So that, I kind of like how that heart cactus is poking out. Cindy, I don't know if, that, if you're joking with me or not, but that's what I'm gonna call it now, heart cactus. All right, let's cut that. And we'll squeeze that in. Oh, it's not gonna fit. So we're gonna have to put that right there. There we go. Hmm, interesting. I don't know if I like that frame or not, but we're going with it. We are going with it. And I haven't used this Tombow since the last time we had Facebook Friday. I wonder if it still works. Yep. You wanna use a liquid glue with your felts. There we go. And we've got some thread, linen thread, or twine. <laughs> Karen, amen. What's the use of wearing a ma makeup if you're going to cover it with a mask? My kids, are they get grossed out by my mask because it has makeup all on the inside. Yes, it's washed. Yes, it's stained. But they're like, ew, mom, that's so gross. Well, good, then leave my mask there. It's mine little stinkers boy you guys we had a interesting break with the, the preteen ugh. momming is hard momming with teenagers is super hard y'all super duper hard and i am not cut out for teenagers i am more cut out for the two-year-olds the one-year-olds i don't mind diapers what i do mind is social media and cyberbullying and boyfriends and curfews. Ugh, I don't like any of it. So yeah, I won't get into details, but mm, that's too close. But mm, mm, three teenage girls, rough stuff. One is preteen, so but she acts like a teenager. All right, there we go. So we kind of did three different versions. I didn't tell you those were champagne rhinestones, by the way. Don't they look good? Not just regular rhinestones, champagne rhinestones. So we did we did this three different ways. We did, you know, the skinny frame, 
we did the retired frame die that I somehow overlooked that was retired. And then we made our own frame similar to this. Okay, stitched rectangles. This is the Rococo Rose background. This is the, oh, is it Rich Razzleberry or Blackberry Bliss? I think it's Rich Razzleberry. Oh, and you know what I forgot to do? The inside, look, and look on here, look what I did. Uh-huh, cut another cactus. I'm not gonna do that. We'll just put the inside here. When you cut that designer series paper down to four by five and a fourth, you're gonna have a strip like this and just cut it down to five and a fourth and put it over here on the side. So in review, I must say, add this to your order. It is gorgeous, it is beautiful. The other thing I wanted to point out to you, they now have product medley refills, which, you know, if you use up all the paper and the embellishments, you can order the refill. You don't pay for the, the stamps and the dies, but you get the more of the paper and the embellishments. And I've already used all the twine. <laughs> That's all I have left. Um, this is my refill kit already. I've already gone through one full kit and a refill. So, highly recommend. Five stars. Good job stamping up. They knocked it out of the park. And I will tell you guys, I know some of you have asked, I'm real close to my million. We're going to get, as we get closer to the end of January, we're going to do some things, hopefully to get there. My million dollars in sales. Um, my goal, it, my goal originally was May, but we're way ahead. <laughs> we had a great fall. So hopefully by the end of January, if not the first week of February. And um, the whole reason I say that is because when you sell a million dollars, you get to help design a stamp set. And so I have all these ideas. And my number one idea was a cactus. <laughs> and then I saw this catalog and I thought, well, there goes that idea. So now I have some other ideas. I, I love cactus so much. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. So, there we go. We've got that. Let's move this out of the way and move on. Oh, my gosh. It's already 2.45. Yeah, we're going to run way over today. Good thing I don't have to pick up kids at school. If you're going to get this kit, the make and take kit, I'm going to send you the papers because I don't think I'll have enough flowers to send everybody. Maybe I will. The felt flowers. Look how cute. <sighs> Wished I had designed that stamp set myself. All right, let's make a calendar. This one is pretty easy, but it's coloring, so it's gonna be a little bit tedious. I always make these calendars every year, and I will tell you guys, I did not make nearly as many as I normally do. Um, I just didn't have a time. So I didn't send out very many, but this is one that I made, and um, it has a lot of coloring in it, so I didn't make a whole lot of them. But I'm going to show you how to make it. This cute, adorable little stamp set is called Woodland Wonder. And if you look in the catalog, they have a card that kind of like folds out accordion because this is so big, it's not going to all fit on a card front. And I wanted to get it to fit so that I could put one of these little calendars. And these calendars are from Tailored Expressions. You can, I think they're 10 for $3.50. I have linked it on today's blog post. So under this, the photo of this, you'll find the link to buy calendars. I think they still have them in stock. I don't know. Um, okay, so I want to show you how I fit this on here. We're going to use a Stamparatus to make, because it's kind of like a puzzle to get it all connected. And one thing that you need to remember, well, did I, I put out, yeah, see, the very first one I made, the, the tree was over too far. See how this hangs off? So you've got to get your tree pretty close over here to the edge. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Stamparatus is the way to go, for sure. I mean, you can try to do it without it, but I, I mean, you know, <laughs> it's probably not going to be perfect, but that's okay. If you want it that way, go for it. I think in my clean reporting, we started with the top of the tree. I think we'll start with the bottom of the tree the first time. Oh, and you know what? I need to put that. Did I take it out? Oh, no, it's still there. These are photopolymers, so you've got to keep that. That's what I was using to stamp earlier. You've got to keep that foam under there. So I'm going to take the trunk. And in order to get the owl on there... I had to really kind of squish things around. And he's at the very, very bottom. So I'm gonna pick it up. Oh, 
random stamp still on there. That's weird. Was it there and I just didn't see it? That was weird. All right, so I picked it up. Now, one of the problems with photopolymer is that it's sticky and it'll pull that paper up. So really use those magnets. And you, the closer you have the magnets to where the stamp is gonna stamp, it won't pull up, see? I'm gonna first stamp it here on the grid paper so that I can see where my cardstock needs to go. All right, there we go. Now I'm gonna take my Whisper White and I'm gonna lay it over so that the owl is pretty much at the bottom and I can see everybody is gonna be, the gang is all there. I'm gonna lay it down, get it straight right there. All right, so now that's gonna be in the way. Now we're gonna ink it and stamp it. There. Okay, leave that there. Get your chamois, 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 right here. I need to have assigned seating for all of my main tools. I need to have assigned seats so that when I use it, I put it right back where it was and then I know where it is. <laughs> and I just throw things around. Then I'm like, where is it? Okay, now for the tree, I'm gonna get it and we might need to move things down. Let's move this paper down a little bit. I'm gonna lay the tree, I'm gonna match these little lines here with those little lines. I'm actually gonna pull it down a little bit. And it's gonna overlap some. Cause really the edge, see, can you see the edge of my stamp is there? But I wanna get more of that tree on there. So I'm just gonna kind of go down the paper a little bit. Okay, stay. And we're gonna ink it. And let's see how we did. Ta-da! Isn't that awesome? Now, before we take that off, we're gonna also stamp it on a post-it note because we're gonna do some masking in a little while. So you need it on a post-it note. Okay, let's clean that off. Yvonne says, I'm scared to use my magnets at the same time. You know, Yvonne, when the stamp brass came out, that was a big deal, right? The magnets are so strong, they'll go together and break. These are my original magnets. I wrapped them in duct tape and so far so good. They sometimes go together, but if they do that, you can slide them like that, but they have not. See, I hate to say it because as soon as I say it, they haven't broken yet, right? So wrap, put some cute, go get some cute duct tape and put the duct tape on it. And it, it um, works a lot better. They don't go together. Someone else told me that your magnets will only snap together if they are off your stamp apparatus. And I have found that pretty much to be true as well. As long as they're both on here, they're, they're not gonna go anywhere. But they are very strong. Now we're gonna take this little pole here. We're gonna make that little, the little flag. Um, it's not a flag, what is it? It's like a little banner. But you can see the pole is not long enough. So I'm going to only ink it, stay there, only ink it till that little ball, the end. And when I made the clean recording, I accidentally went over that. So I'm gonna cover that up for just a second. I'm gonna ink that and stamp there. Okay, so we only have part of it. Now, this is how I get ink on my hands because I do this with my chamois. Now I'm gonna take it and lay it down, overlapping just a little right there. We've extended it. Ooh, that felt like it moved, it totally moved, but I can match it up with that. No, come on, see I can match it up right there with my stamped off image. No, let's line it up again. I don't know why I did that. It's like um, surgery or something. And when I made a bunch of these, I stamped all the trunks and then I went back, lined up the trees, stamped all the trees. That way I didn't have to keep switching. 
That's what another good thing the Stamparatus is for, mass producing. All right, there we go. Now it's a little bit off, darn it. But not to worry, our little banner will take care of that. We're gonna put that right there. And we're gonna cover it, yep. There we go. Hip, hip, hooray. See, now you can't even see it, my boo-boo. And there you have it. Now we're gonna color. Let's see, I'm gonna see if I can zoom in. And you guys, if I forget to zoom out a little while, you tell me. Okay, let's see if I can zoom in. There we go. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm always afraid I'm gonna end the video when I do that. There we go. Let's start with the leaves. I'm gonna do light granny apple green all over the leaves. So we watched a lot of Netflix over the break. I don't know about you guys. There was quite a few things the hubby and I binge watched. Did you guys watch anything good? Um, there's a show on Amazon called The Wilds. It's weird. And it's a little edgy, I will say that. It is about some teenage girls who get stranded on a desert island. And it is crazy. If you haven't seen that and you like kind of thriller stuff, watch it. It's If you watched Lost, you guys remember the show Lost? If you liked Lost, I recommend. I highly recommend because they didn't end up there by accident. As you know, as we all know, that's how it happens, right? Somebody did something somewhere. Now I'm taking the dark. I, I went over each line in the leaves and I'm also gonna go behind. There's some kind of holes there between the leaves. I'm gonna fill those in with the dark. Let's do that. Y'all have seen it? Oh, it was really good. And you know what? I didn't really wanna watch it. My husband was like, this looks good. And I'm like, oh, teenage girl, uh, drama. You know, they're all gonna be fighting. Oh my gosh, it was so good. I think it was probably the best thing we watched. Um, it ends horribly. <laughs> like, be prepared to not know what the heck's going on. But season two has already been renewed or picked up or whatever. So now I'm going to take light crumb cake. And I'm using my brush end this time because I've kind of got a lot of ground to cover here. And this is this will fill it in faster. So what else did we watch? We watched The Flight Attendant on HBO. Again, a little, it's a little, little over the top, a little, little um, oh, I don't know, R-rated. But it was okay. It was weird. It was really weird. And then we watched, oh, His Dark Materials. That was on HBO. That's based on the book, um, The Golden Compass. You guys know, have you heard about that book, The Golden Compass? Young, young adult, it's not really a children's book. Anyway, that's good. It has Lin-Manuel Miranda in it from Hamilton. And if you guys don't know, my husband is super obsessed with Hamilton. So, of course, anything Lin-Manuel is in, we have to watch. But it was good. And it's not, um, it's like safe for kids. Well, for older kids. It's some of that stuff, you know, you have to like, oh, the kids can't come in the room and makes it, ugh. But that one's pretty good. All right, so I'm just adding some dark in underneath each animal, kind of going over those lines a little bit um, where the artist gave us some lines to color, kind of, you know, lines in the, the tree. The Queen's Gambit, Debbie, yes. Oh my gosh, we saw that, Queen's Gambit. That was excellent. If you guys haven't watched The Queen's Gambit on Netflix, oh, so, 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 so good. Um, Lisa, Vampire Diaries. I did that a while. I read Vampire Diaries. I didn't love the show. I watched some of it when it first came out, but I didn't really necessarily love the show. Um, what else? I'm doing this in Balmy Blue, light. And then I'm going to go back with Balmy Blue, dark, and just go under the wings there. I'm trying to think. We watched a bunch. Oh, The Crown. Ugh. I watch The Crown. My husband doesn't care for The Crown, but I love The Crown. 
so good. So, 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 so good. Light soft suede um, for the squirrel and the owl. Oh, the Briggertons on Netflix. But I have to say that that is rated RRR. <laughs> Be careful if you're going to watch that. If you've got kids in the house, don't watch it when they're home. Um, it's quite the R-rated version. Though the Briggerton um, is based on a book series of rom historical romance, which I love. That's one of my favorite genres. And so I have read those books. I'm actually reading them right now. I had read the first one and I liked it. If you like cheesy romance books, it's good. Um, what's the author's name? Deborah Quinn? Deborah something. I don't know, but I mean, cheesy romance to fill the time. It's better than watching the news, right? Ugh. All right, so soft suede again here on our little owl. See how I was saying this is not a difficult card at all. It's just a lot of coloring. So if you like to color, this is a fun one. I'm trying to think, did we watch anything else? I feel like there was something else and I'm, I'm not remembering it. Sarah, you watched Bur the Burgerton too? That was good. Yeah. Um, oh, Virgin River, Lisa. Yes. Yes. Virgin River was good. It was very good. Very good. I need something new. Oh, okay. Here's one. Did you guys ever read um, several years back? It was when I was teaching. So it's been a while. Oh, what's it called? Oh my gosh, now I can't remember. Hold on, it's on the tip of my tongue. Darn it, I can't remember. She goes back in time. She's a witch. What's that book called? It was really popular when it came out. Oh, it's right on the tip of my tongue. Come on, somebody tell me. Um, I can't think of the book. Oh anyway it's a show they made it in england and it then comes out over here on the sundance channel and it's very good if you like that kind of stuff now we're going to use this blending brush come on somebody tell me the name of that book what was it she's a witch she doesn't want to be a witch she pretends like she's not and she gets a book in the library at oxford What's that book called? Come on, somebody's read it. The book. Oh, Rita Outlander. Don't even get me started. That's my all-time favorite everything. Book, show, everything. Outlander. Oh, okay. I'm talking books and I'm not focusing. Remember how we did this? And I need to zoom out. Hold on. Let me see. Make sure I do this without... There we go. Remember how we did this? Ah, oh, don't get ink on there. Okay. Well, what you're going to do is fussy cut around that tree. Look, I already did it. And you're going to set that right here. Discovery of Witches. That's what it's called. Thank you. Jenny said it at the same time. Discovery of Witches. Yes. It was a good book, right? About 10 years ago. Yes. It was on the tip of my tongue. I could not remember it. But it's on the Sundance channel, which you have to subscribe to. I don't know. And that's the only show I watch on the channel. Anyway, season two is coming. So I'm covering that up, right? Because I'm going to take this with the Balmy Blue. And I'm just going to kind of go around. I want it darker up here at the top, obviously, because this is the sky. But then I'm going to go kind of go around the edges, too. Oh, and you know what? I, Man, see, I start talking about shows and books, and I get all kinds of distracted. Let me finish this, and I'll go back. Our little bird's beak and the owl and the, the nest. I didn't color any of it. See? Now, here is what I was talking about. You want to just start off on the edge and come in so it's all nice and soft. Okay, there we go. Let me finish that, good grief. I can't walk and chew gum at the same time either. Let me do this right here, right here, right here. Discovery of Witches. The first one was really good. The second and third one were just okay. Do, 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 do. Okay, now we're back. Back to where we were. So now that's it. We're going to do a couple of little clouds, but that's it. There's really no um, embellishments or anything on this because you spent so much time coloring, <laughs> you're sick of it and you don't want to do anything anymore. No, not really. But it's it stands alone. It's good. It doesn't need anything else. So I've got a balmy blue card base, regular card base. 
And then um, four and an eighth by five and three eighths early espresso. The Whisper White was four by five and a fourth. All of this is on today's PDF over at pinkfuckery.com. So don't feel like you have to write it all down. Now we're gonna do a couple clouds like this. Where's Donna? Is she here today? Donna, we're gonna fussy cut. She doesn't like it. I know she's not the only one, but we have to add some clouds. I guess you could, what could you do? You could, maybe if you had a die for some other clouds. But if you don't, just go old school and get your scissors and go around and around and around. Yeah, if you guys haven't watched or read Outlander, stop what you're doing right now, go order. And I recommend the audiobooks, they are so good. They are long, they will require a six month commitment. <laughs> But they're so good. My mom, I don't know if my mom is on here. I haven't seen her yet. She was just met with Outlander. She said she got tired of it. It was too long and wordy. But that's why I liked it. I love a book series because then you don't have to start over. You know, you're invested and it just goes on and on and on. Karen, you love Outlander too. Son, oh, Mandalorian, Lisa. That was another one we watched. I have tried desperately to get into The Mandalorian. I've tried desperately. My husband loves it and we watched it, but I just kind of zone out. I don't know why. I just, I want to love it like everybody, but it's just kind of boring to me. Little Yoda, he's so cute. I know, that's not his name. All right, so we're gonna put that right there, fits perfectly. Now, if you wanna make this a calendar to send to everybody, you've gotta cut this other piece, four by five and a fourth. You score it at half an inch, two and three fourths and five. And then you fold it like this. And you just sit this right here. And then you can put this in a, an envelope and mail it. You need a non-machinable stamp it's thick it's got this on it let me show you i have those out right here if you're in the united states this is the stamp you need non-machinable what is it 70 cents i think i just buy these now i don't even buy the regular stamps anymore because everything i send has a lot of dimension and there it is so cute right now if you don't want to make the calendar don't make the calendar just do the tree and turn it into a card and it's adorable and you can sit and binge watch all the shows we talked about while you do all your coloring all righty, we have one more project and it's a quick one <laughs> because it's already seven after. This is the longest Facebook Live in the history of all my Facebook Lives, but that's okay. It's Friday, right? All right, let's move all this out of the way and let's move on to the sweet strawberry. Are we crooked? Something looks weird. There we go, okay. Can you tell what's inside? If you have the sweet strawberry bundle, it's this and this, you suddenly see everything in the grocery store that is strawberry flavored. And I have bought like 10 things, <laughs> 10 strawberry flavored things. Um, I used some for a class that's coming up next month and some for uh, my team training. But this one I saved for you guys for Facebook Friday these. I love these. My kids love these. I have three of these in my purse right now. We eat them during church. <laughs> Everybody loves them. Um, the strawberry icebreaker duos. You can get them at every store. So it fits perfectly in this little box. All right. We're going to make a little 3D strawberry. So let's make the box first. Now the measurements for this again are on my blog today. Second page of the PDF right here. The PDF is under the last photo and i'm using poppy parade because that's the color in the designer series paper which i'll talk to you about in a minute um the this piece is nine and a fourth by six and a fourth we're going to score the long side at three fourths one and a half four and three fourths five and a half eight and three fourths turn it score the short side at three fourths one and a half four and three fourths and five and a half. A lot of score lines, I think nine altogether. Now, if you have taken a perusal through the catalog, 
if you have looked at them, you will notice in the celebration catalog, there is a bundle. It's a $100 level two free product, which means you get it free when you spend $100. It doesn't cost $100. Free with a $100 purchase. And it's called Berry Blessings. It has a stamp set and the most beautiful designer series paper, which is what we're gonna use. And the designer series paper has strawberries on it. So the natural coordination between this and that is perfect. So you definitely, if you get the sweet strawberry bundle, you want to try to get that designer series paper and coordinating the coordinating berry stamp set. Now, what we're gonna do, let's see, where are my big scissors? I'll use these right here. You'll see that there's two little sections here. That's the bottom. And the one right here with the one section that's actually skinnier is the lid. So we're gonna start up here on the lid and I'm gonna cut off those two. And while I do that, I'm also gonna cut this at an angle. Okay, now I'm gonna cut off these two on either side because we just need one flap on the lid. Whoa, that was a crooked cut. All right, up, 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 and cut that off. Now we're gonna cut that too right there. And again, cut off the corners. So cut it all the way up and cut off the corners. Okay, so there's the lid. Now for the bottom, we're gonna do what I call the little Tetris shape, the little three squares right here. I'm gonna cut those off. And while we're here, we're also gonna cut this one off. This is um, one of those projects that you, if you come back to watch, you might wanna watch the clean recording so that you can pause it and see exactly what I'm doing. Now, while we're here, let's do this. Snip and snip. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing over here. Cut off the little Tetris L. Cut off that square. And all everything, I'm gonna cut the corners off of everything. It's just gonna make this box go together so much better including these little square flaps. This box is kind of a, um, oh, I don't know what the official word would be for this, but it it's gonna have a folded edge. It kind of has a double wall on it to make it for, for, uh, uh, sturdy and rounded, so it looks nice. Okay, so one more, let's see, we've gotta cut these off and over here on this side, and then I'm gonna set it down so you can see. Once you do one, it's easy. Right there. All right, now did I get it all? I did. Okay, so now that's what your box looks like. That's where we started. Remember, the single over here is the lid and the doubles are the bottom. So now you want to get your adhesive. I'm going to use Stampin' Seal Plus on these little tabs, on the outside of these tabs. Then I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to fold those in a little bit so they don't stick to the table. And I'm going to put Stamp and Seal Plus there, there, and there. All right, now we're just going to fold these in, and these are going to squeeze around. Actually, let's pr press that in. You don't necessarily have to put adhesive on those squares, but I find that it's just easier because the adhesive on this is going to fold over and squeeze those in but I find it's just easier if I go ahead and put adhesive on them like that. Fold over, fold over, and it's like a tiny little pizza box. And then this folds in, and there you have it. Ta-da! If you don't want to put mints in there, maybe you get cookies. Those cute little decorated cookies, those would be cute, right? All right, now the paper, the adorable, beautiful paper it's called the Berry Blessings. This is a piece of it. And look at the back. You can use your strawberry punch and cut out your strawberries even from that paper, which I have done and it's super duper cute. Okay, Granny Green, Granny Green, Granny Apple Green cardstock goes on the lid there. Now I've already cut out a white heart and 
we're gonna stamp let me bring everything over here do, 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 do. we are going to stamp the strawberry let's do the heart last we're gonna stamp the strawberry three times in poppy parade I'm sure you guys have seen, if you've been looking on Facebook or Pinterest at all, you've seen some samples with this. It's very popular. I saw something yesterday where they did watercolor paper and it was just kind of soft and beautiful. It was so, so pretty. I'm always a bright, bold kind of girl, so I always go for the bright, bold. But when I see people do the little watercolor soft images, it's so beautiful. I like it too. So now we've got our three strawberries. We need two leaves and a stem. And for this punch, you can see how it punched out a bunch of paper, right? When I was punching it, um, it kind of can do a lot of waste. So there's a way for you to, um, to put your stamps on your block so that you can punch them all out at the same time. Now we only need the, the leaf and the stem, so I'm gonna just use those two stamps. So what I've done here is I've stamped, I've punched this from just regular, you know, scratch card stock. And then I took my, my uh, stamps and I laid them down on there and then I put the block and I picked them up. So now when I go to stamp, they'll be in the exact right position where I need them um, for when I punch. So I can punch them both out at the same time. If you're gonna color these, maybe with Stampin' Blends, then you could do your strawberry, your leaf, your stem, all together. There we go. Now, to make our little 3D heart, oh no, my heart is dirty. To make our little 3D heart, we're just gonna fold these in half. What time is it? Is it three fifteen? I try to only keep it to an hour, you guys, because I know you have stuff to do. But today, I just there was just so much, and I knew when I recorded the clean recordings today that these were going to be long projects. They take a long time. There we go. So see how I am adhering them back to back, and we'll do that with this one as well. Probably Tombow would work better than this but I'm just using this because it's fast back to back so then you have whoops I've got some adhesive sticking out you've got this little 3d strawberry take one of your stems and fold that up like that and I would probably use Tombow here as well but for the sake of the video we're just gonna quickly take that and set it down like that so cute okay now let's stamp in granny apple I've got paper everywhere. I can't stand when I see my video and there's all this trash everywhere and dimensional and all kinds of weird stuff. Let's do that right there. This is Granny Apple and Granny Apple Green and that's, I don't know what you call that, kind of the vine that the strawberry grows on. <clears throat> strawberry plant really isn't a vine, is it? It's more like a shrub and we've grown strawberries before but I can't I can't really think I know it's not a vine per se like a like a pumpkin would be all right so granny apple green stamp and blend light then just take your dark and just kind of flick in some color some dark in the middle I'm not going to worry about those flowers whoops whoa I got a little crazy there I'm not going to worry about those flowers because we're actually going to cover it up with a strawberry now you could punch out some flowers and put them on there as well. Little white flowers with yellow centers would be very, very cute. So I'm gonna put that there. I'm gonna take my leaf. I'm gonna kind of cover that up down there and we'll put one up here. Is it a bush, Lisa? Like a shrub, like a, yeah. Like that, and then the first time I made this, I forgot or I didn't put the sentiment on there and I had to stamp it after the whole thing was put together. So don't do that. Just for you, fits perfectly right there. So 
like it was made to go on that heart. And then we're just gonna put it on the lid of our box. I was thinking these would be great little pick-me-up January treats. You know, everybody's like trying to get off sugar now. I gotta cut that off, that adhesive is sticking out. Everybody's, you know, like trying to recoup from Christmas, trying to be healthy. So, mints. <laughs> I know they help me when I want something sweet. Definitely not the same, but it does, you know, it does help a little bit. So these would be fun little treats for people in January. We're trying to be good. There we go, double linen thread bow. And we will use some glue, a glue dot, and put that right on there. This is a much easier project, I think, than the others. Although that box is a little complicated. Not too complicated. All right, there we have it. We have reached the end of the stamping show. Facebook Live, let me clean up and then I'll, we'll review everything that we made today. So remember some important things. If you wanna make these, you come back to watch the video, you can go to my blog or my YouTube channel and find the clean recordings of each of these projects. The third one will be done as soon as we're done here. I just gotta finish um, edit, editing it. Um, so here are our three projects today. If you want these projects, if you would like for me to send you the make and takes for free, all you have to do is put in an order by Monday at midnight. Um, here's your host code. Please use that host code. If you don't use the host code, then I don't think you want the project. So use the host code. If your order is over $150, don't use the host code because you're also going to get stamp of rewards and I'll still send you the projects for free. Please don't forget to enter your celebration items. You know what, you guys, I'm gonna show you that. If you need to go, go, I understand. You don't have to stay till the end, but I'm gonna show you. Let me show you. I'm gonna pull up the Stampin' Up, oh good, we're already there. Stampin' Up customer website. So let's order something. What do we wanna order? Let's order, let's order that. Let's put that in our cart, okay? Now go over to your cart and right here see it's like i don't know your brain doesn't really see it you have celebration rewards to redeem right here click on that and then our purchase is over 100 so we can choose one of the hundred dollar uh products there's that very blessings which is going to be our facebook friday next week or that or i can get two of the fifty dollars products right look there's my flower and field favorite and there's Oso oh ombre so i add those go back to your cart and host code goes right here, little, little plus sign right there. From what I understand, and it even happened to me that very first day, this is not prompting you. Do you want celebration items? Do not submit, you, don't, you haven't picked your free stuff. So make sure you're focusing <laughs> when you check out. Don't be like me. I got up really early the day the catalog went live um, to put in some orders and I was, still half asleep and I put in a huge order and didn't put the celebration items in. So luckily Stampin' Up! took care of it, but don't be like me. Make sure you click that and and um, get that done. So you get your freebies, okay? All right, you guys, let me go back and see what you're saying. Oh, did it take me off? I can't even see, oh no, there we are. Okay, I think we are done. Thanks guys for hanging out with me for a long time today. I missed you guys. Um, some of you were telling me you missed me. I missed you too. This fills my cup every week too. I enjoy chatting with you guys. Um, Catherine, I hope so. I hope my, my goal is to hit it by the 31st, my $1 million in sales by the 31st. Um, starting next week, uh oh, look, that came off. That's why you need Tombow. Starting next week, I'm gonna have some fun um, things going on hopefully to help us get there. It's going to be a stretch to get there by the end of this month, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. You guys have a wonderful weekend and I will see you next Friday at two o'clock. All right. Have a great weekend. Bye guys.